How I heard about BankOn was through the city email system. Um, it took me about a year to actually decide to take the class because I would get those emails and I would check out the website and just sort of, maybe, but I never really did it um, until finally I just signed up and I said I'll just go to one class just to see what it's all about and then I ended up going to two and three and ended up staying the entire ten months. I was extremely afraid all the time to spend money. Um, I had come, been recently divorced and come from a combined six-figure income down to uh, a single person working for the city of Virginia Beach. So my income had dropped drastically. I uh, had a house that I was paying for. I had a car. I was afraid that something would happen somewhere along the line and that I wouldn't have any money to do anything. So I was even afraid to spend whatever I had extra just in case something happened. The more we can proactively make a plan, the more success we're going to have. When I started Bank On, I didn't realize I had any goals. All I wanted to do was not be afraid. Um, when I met with my coach, he basically pulled some goals out of me. Uh, the main one that I discovered was that I really did want to retire at some point, even though I thought I couldn't. So that was my main goal. I wanted to stop living paycheck to paycheck. I wanted to be able to, if an emergency happened, just take care of it and not be so afraid all the time. And those were my main goals. Uh, in addition to make me accountable, Vincent helped me figure out what my goals were. Ten months ago, I didn't even My know coach was fantastic. Um, he, he just would not let me get off with anything. I, w I would sit there and go, I don't have any goals. And he goes, no, everybody has goals. And it, like I said, he would force me to face things uh, and, and write them down. And then he, he teased me later on and said, you write everything down. I said, well, it's your fault. But uh, my coach was, was very good. Um, he kept talking about the fact that my life was like a Polaroid picture and if I didn't have the, the entire picture then things were faded out and I couldn't make decisions and things like that. So I always kept in the back of my mind, okay, everything has to be included in, in this picture. Once we get out of crisis mode, we're going to fix it so we never go back into crisis mode again. And Everybody was in the same situation, so we, I mean, all of us had different details. But the overall, we were all the same. We were just trying to improve our lives and get our money under control. My credit score was not bad to begin with, but I increased it still 13 points. Um, I saved uh, $1,000 and I decreased my debt by $2,700. So that was a big deal. What I found most surprising was when, right before graduation, I had car problems. Something that 10 months ago would have scared the tar out of me, um, when I, especially when I found out it was going to cost me $1,100 to have my car fixed. And I was on the phone with the mechanic going, okay, go ahead, do it. Whereas last year it would have been, oh, where am I going to get the money from? How am I going to do this? And this? This time it was just like, okay. Oh, anybody should come to, in fact, come to the bank on. In fact, I tell everybody all the time, um, there's some flyers that were out in the, uh, the library that people walk in and I, and I walk right over to them if I see them in their hands and tell them how wonderful the class is. I've told friends about it, I've given them the cards from it um, and just tell them that even if you don't have financial problems or anything, if you're not on a budget you really probably should do it just so that you can keep everything under control.